Welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This video is for the eye surgeon who has been doing SICS and now wants to attempt FECO. First, do the side port because leakage of aqueous humor is less if you do the side port first. If there is not much of leakage, you can do both the side ports. And now inject an air bubble and beneath this air bubble inject tripan blue dye. The dye should touch all parts of the anterior capsule. You can inject a little bit of adrenaline to maintain the dilatation of the people. And now, if the side port is very small, you just keep injecting BSS and most of the dye will come out. Inject Visco and now make the side port. First, make a groove, go to the floor of the groove go into the through the cornea for a distance of about 2 millimeter or 2.5 millimeter and then enter into the anterior chamber inject some more visco so that the air bubble comes out methyl cellulose is applied over the cornea so that visibility improves and now capsulorexis. If you are doing capsulorexis with the needle till now through the side port, you can continue that. This is how you can learn uterata forceps. Go through the main wound, inject visco, lift the anterior wall of the main wound. Even then, you will find that the AC becomes shallow inject visco and go again. As you go lift off the anterior wall of the main wound, hold the tag and rotate the tag and complete the rexus. You may have to refill the anterior chamber two, three times initially. Later on, you will be able to maintain the anterior chamber depth and complete Rexis at on go. And now hydro dissection. A 27 Gauss cannula is taken. BSS is injected just under the anterior capsular rim. The nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is rotated. Visco again. And now is the time to introduce the FECO needle. The FECO needle goes in with its bevel down. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. Now turn the handpiece, make the bevel up. And start sculpting. The power is in linear mode. So control the foot switch in such a way that you apply adequate amount of ultrasonic energy for sculpting. Without applying ultrasound, if you just try to go, you will just push the nucleus and that is not good. That causes a lot of stress on the junior. You have to use ultrasound sculpt and go. This is the other side of the initial groove. And now 90 degree away on groove on this seminucleus. So the technique here 
being demonstrated is the divide and conquer technique of Pekamalsification. Come here, the groove is deepened. No? So that you can see the red glow at the floor of the and now you can use the feco needle tip and the chopper to divide this. You may find it cumbersome initially. So you can take two hooks and go to the floor of this trench and apply opposite forces. It's not happening. Let us try other another side. Yes, could get a crack. Then here, one more crack. One more. And last again we try here and this time it cracked. Go to the floor of the trench and apply opposite forces. If it doesn't happen, if you can't crack, you have to sculpt a little more and then it will crack. And now this is the trick. You have to bring one piece out of the bag and place it at the center. Two hooks goes, one above and one below this chunk and pull it at the center of the anterior chamber. And now you can go and emulsify this piece. This is now in a safe position. So you have to do some initial surgeries in this way. If you try to hold this, you may not be able to control it. So inject visco, tilt this fragment, one hook goes behind the apex, another one above the apex and pull it and keep it at the center of the anterior chamber and now apply adequate ultrasonic energy to emulsify this piece. Always remain at the central part and don't go to periphery. Now rotate the nuclear pieces. Once two pieces are removed, the other pieces gets a lot of space to move around and it comes to the tip easily. And now this is the epinuclear shell. Don't try to grab this if it, this is your initial few surgeries, inject visco behind the epinucleus and then go with the hand piece again. Be at low vacuum, low flow rate like vacuum maybe 100 or 120, uh, flow rate about 25 to remove the epinucleus. Done. Don't try to remove the cortex by the handpiece itself at this time. You can use Simco because you have used Simco for a long time and remove the cortex from the inferior aspect. Always inject visco and keep the chamber filled up so that the antechamber is maintained better. And now try bimanual irrigation aspiration for removal of this cortex, which is from 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock. Irrigation goes, now the aspiration goes and use the foot switch to go to position 2, irrigation aspiration position and remove this cortex.
And now don't try hydro implantation, inject visco. And push the lens. Leading haptic should go in the capsular bag. And the trailing haptic, if you can't place it in this way, go through the right side port, dial the lens, gently push it backward towards the vitreous cavity and it goes in the capsular bag. And now you must thoroughly remove the visclastic substance that you have used for implantation of the intraocular lens. Unless you remove this visco thoroughly, you will have a lot of you know, you will have raised intraocular pressure, steamy corneal edema, and poor vision next day. Use bimanual irrigation aspiration for removal of the visco. Don't be afraid to go behind the lens with the irrigation only. No. Now it is done. This is moxifloxacin. Close the side ports. Inject BSS into corneal stroma. Always remain on the scleral side of the tunnel. Don't go to the corneal you know, side. And now this is final lavage. Antichamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in doing your initial few FECO surgeries.